Oh, how I have missed filming this video. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a video I didn't think I'd film again, but here we are. Um, this is episode five in my Sit Tinder series. How you missed them? I've actually missed filming them. Um, yes, that is right. I have got my Tinder back. Since being a single gal, I thought, why not get my Tinder back and then I can make these videos again. So that is what I've done. This is going to be episode five. So again, we've got some more cheesy, some more rude, some more dirty chat lines, but I'm all about it because it's good entertainment for you guys. So if you want to see how my single life is literally failing with all these men, <laughs> carry on watching. So I've got the messages on my laptop, um, so I'll be reading them out to you and yeah, some of them are cheesy, some of them are cringy, but we love it. But just for reference, if any of these um, chat outlines are music, dance, film related or friends related, it's because in my bio it says I love watching films, I love listening to music, I love dancing and I love friends. So that's kind of the theme we're going off. But if you've watched episode one, two, three and four, <laughs> you will um, know I just read the names out because Tinder only gives first names anyway and you're never going to probably know who these people are. Um, so yeah, always out them. <laughs> that's just what I'm like. Um, but yeah, so the first one is of a guy called Jordan who said, I like your face. And then the next message was, and body. And then I put thanks. <laughs> he then said, say something nice back then. I was like, God, he is demanding the compliments. Babe, you're not going to get anywhere like that. <laughs> the next one's off a guy called James, whose first message to me was, are you scared of heights? I put yes, why? Because if you know me, you know I am terrified of heights. Like, I don't do roller coasters. I don't do anything up high. Like, I can't do climbing or abseiling. Planes terrify me like I'm the worst um, nervous flyer. It's actually a joke. Um, and I said, yeah, why? And he put, checking if you'd be scared of me or not. Babes, you're only six foot. Calm down. <laughs> you're not that tall. <laughs> I'm nearly the same height, so... The next one is of a guy called Charlie who said raising. I put what? Because I was like, why is he just messaging me saying raising? He read the first pickup line, that, that is why. And then he put, guess not, date? Question mark. I was like, well played, Charlie. I put, I like that. And he put, had to put the big guns, didn't I? And I put defo. Haha. -ha. <laughs> the next one's of a guy called Henry who said, I bet. I bet I would beat you in a friends quiz. I put try me because legit, no one can outdo me at friends. Friends and Disney are like my things, my topics of choice. If I ever had to go on like a quiz show game, my category would be friends or Disney because I am pro. <laughs> then I, he put bring it, loser buys the drinks, I put you're on. He put next week we'll do a drinks and friends quiz night together then and I put sound. This is a phrase I need to stop using. I keep saying sound to everything. I don't know who I've picked this up or up off, but I legit am saying sound to everything like what. <laughs> and then he put, perfect, what evenings are you free? Have you got Snapchat or Facebook or something? So like we added each other, but it's yet to happen. But I hope it does because I will beat him to the ground and get them free drinks. <laughs> this, the next one's a guy called Joe. Now this, I know I've said it in the past four, videos but this has got to be the best pickup line ever heard like as soon as I saw it I was like are you ready guys he said to me we will never go on a break if you get off a plane for me and I put omg yes love the reference and if you don't get it we can't be friends but <laughs> next one is of a guy called Omar I think that's how you say his name don't know. Um, but he put no one blank, literally no one blank. Me, Koi looks perfect. I was like, thanks. He put, will you be my cup of coffee? I put, that's your decision. But babes, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea, tea, hot chocolate maybe. But yeah. Then he put, I've already made my decision when I saw you. I put, really? And what is that? And he put, yes, babe. So we just need to choose the place and date. And then I didn't reply. <laughs> the next pick. The next message is off a guy called Luke and he put, wow, your bod is fire. I put, thanks. He put, no, Chloe. 
thank you. I was like, it's all right, babes. <laughs> The next one's off a guy called Dan who put, Chloe, tell me two facts and a lie about yourself and I bet I can guess the lie. I didn't reply. I don't know why. That would have been a fun game. <laughs> um, the next one's off a guy called Tom who put, you not fancy moving out of Yorkshire. I put, why? He put, get away for a bit. Where are you from? Good old Leeds, I put. Um, he put, uni student accommodation. I put, no, uni house. Why? God, this must have been a while ago. Uni house. I haven't lived in my uni house for nearly a year. <laughs> but yeah. You can never take the Yorkshire girl out of Yorkshire. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next one's have a guy called Ryan who, oh my god, this chat up line. Mm -mm -mm. Boys, don't use this chat up line because it won't get you anywhere. Um, you put, hi, how do you like your eggs in the morning? Scrambled or fertilised? <laughs> I was like, well done, haha, <laughs> did you deserve that slap in your photos? Right, because I was looking at his Tinder bio and like his third photo in, there was a really pretty blonde girl slapping him like, a picture of her hitting him and I was like why would you put this on your tinder um so I said that and he put basically called her a slut but she loved it as you can see I put wow because if you're doing that to girls I don't want you anywhere near me and then he put ended up sleeping with her though so maybe I should call you a slut I was like you call me a slut and I will hit you multiple times and I won't be sleeping with you <laughs> I will walk away <laughs> The next one's off a guy called Ben who put who's this bloody model then and why are you so far away? I was like, um, I don't know where you are, but thanks for the compliment. <laughs> next one's off a guy called Kieran and you can really hear the Yorkshire accent in this message and I bloody love it. Are you ready? He put Kinell, taste it's not you, ain't you? And I was like, why thanks? And then he put where you from and I was like, Yorkshire, born and bred. And he was like, we like this, and I was like, yes, we do. <laughs> Next one's off a guy called Saul who said, whoever said the perfect girl doesn't exist clearly hasn't seen your Tinder profile. I was like, thanks, babes. <laughs> Next one's off a guy called Harry who said, Where the hell are, why the hell are you 56 kilometres away, almost as wide as your hips? I was like, um, is he saying I've got big hips? Like, I don't know whether to say that in a good or bad way. And then he were like, your hips don't lie, you look amazing. And I was like, I'm just a bit Shakira because my hips don't lie. <laughs> I'm on tonight, you know, my hips don't lie, you know, that's the worst impression I've ever done. <laughs> Next one's off a guy called Chris who said, hey, your photos are pretty mad, do you do modelling? I put, thanks, haha, -ha, and no. He put, all right, yeah, I can tell, winky face. I was like, I don't, I just take good photos, I'm a photographer, what can I say? My Instagram game is bomb. If you don't follow me, link down below. <laughs> Next one is off a guy called John, whose first message was welcome back. So clearly he knew that I had left Tinder and come back. So I was like, hi. He was like, how are you doing, gorgeous? I was like, I'm good, how's you? And he was like, I'm mint, thank you. And then he was like, don't start, you're probably a bit of me, you. I was like, can't help it if I'm a bit of you. It is what it is. Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> that reference drives me insane. My dad's always like, it is what it is to me. And I'm like, dad, you don't even love what watch Love Island. Like, stop. <laughs> Next one's off a guy called Damien, whose first message to me was, Hey up, I reckon I can, I can outdo you on the dance floor easy. And I put, don't think so. Mate, if you've not seen me on a night out, you don't know. I literally step up. I'm like the film Step Up. I step up and my dancing is pro. And then he put, I definitely think so. Don't call me happy feet for no, you know. I was like, who calls you that then? And dance battle is on then. He put, don't you worry about that. Depends what you're dancing to as well. Sort of genre, how are you talking about? And I put dance hall and R&B because that is my jam and then it was like easy that loser buys drinks i was like sound but he is mates with my ex so i was like this ain't gonna happen bye bye <laughs> next one's off a guy called tom who put not going to lie i was tempted to start this conversation with something inappropriate depending on your thoughts obviously but you're too good looking so i bottled it now this is probably one of those other boring messages that you're going to ignore instead and i put oh that was cute it's not boring at all to be fair if it was inappropriate probably wouldn't have replied but just to humor me give me your best pickup line um and then he didn't reply to me so i was like i need it for a video come on <laughs> Next one's off a guy called Aidan who put Christ shots on it. I was like, thanks. And then he put what made you match? And then I put the friends top because he had a friends top on in his picture. So I instantly just went, yes, please. <laughs> and he was like, haha, fair. I put, yeah, sound. And then I put a gif of um, Phoebe going, 
and then he put haha I'm a Chandler I put I'm a mix of Monica and Phoebe which I am and so he put so you're crazy I put basically <laughs> and I still talk to him now so just shows friends brings people together um, next one is off a guy called Gareth who sent me the gif of Chandler and Joey hugging and then he put thoughts saying hi would be over it and I was like you know you know Next one's off a guy called Jacob who put you're one of them lasses who knows they're fucking beautiful, aren't you? And I put, is there anything wrong with that? Because if you can't, as RuPaul says, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? Can I get an amen? Amen. It's true though. Back yourself to the end of the earth, girls. And then he put, nah, I like the confidence, finally. I put, good, haha. He put, but you are God, you know. I put, why, thank you. Next one's off a guy called Mikey who said, are you made out of copper and... This is so bad, I haven't done science in years, so I don't know how to pronounce this next one. Tellure, tellurium? Tellurium? Are you made of copper and tellurium? Because you sure are cute, which are obviously the symbols for them two things. And I was like, wow, thanks. <laughs> no, I, I, did, I might have got to be in science and show my science teacher I could do science, but I've forgotten it all now. <laughs> don't know. Next one's off a guy called Brandon who put my cereal, ice cream and you. Three things I'd like to spoon. I didn't reply. Well done, babes. <laughs> Next one's off a guy called Aaron, who put Defo just found my new favorite things in Defo just found my new favorite thing in Leeds. I put and why is that? He put, um, have you seen yourself, Zoo Wee Mama? Now, if you don't know where Zoo Wee Mama's from, that is literally my childhood, like Diary of the Wimpy Kid. Like, I had all the books, I watched all the films, I was obsessed. So I, I put, oh my god, as if he just used a Diary of the Wimpy Kid reference, and he put, fuck my life, I was just peaked. I think I have to marry you, and I put haha, love it, and why is that? And he put nobody has ever got a Diary of the Wimpy Kid reference yet. You're the first. I put good job I did then, didn't it? A guy called Adam who put had a fifty quid bet with my mate that I could find that hottest girl on Tinder. Was wondering if you want to go spend that fifty quid with me on a few drinks, and I put sounds like a good plan. I mean, <laughs> I will take a free drink gladly. <laughs> But yes, that is everything for this video. There'll probably be an episode six because let's face it, I get cringy messages just like that on the reg on Tinder. So yeah, stay tuned. I hope you're enjoying that these videos are now back. I love filming them. They're just so funny. And yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.